what's in your hair now? A few things. This hair underneath the other hair is thick hair. This is a weave right now. This is a weave. That's my edges and everything. I have pieces that are kind of like, you know, like extensions. Right now, I have clips in my hair. I've attached um, two pieces here because I want a little more fullness. Mine is a one unit, like, like that. <laughs> documentary Good Hair opens in select cities tomorrow. Wow. <laughs> that was the perm fall. <laughs> select cities tomorrow and nationwide October 23rd. Now, as you saw, Chris was able to get a lot of famous women to open up about their hair, and we have one of them here today, Miss Raven Simone. Come on now. <laughs> you in this in this movie what made you want to uh, partake in this in this documentary with Chris? because I've been wearing weaves since uh, I was around 13 years old that young 13 uh, I've had braids with extensions and then after that uh, I got my first perm and my dad said well I want your hair to be uh, perfect so you need to figure out a way to save it on everyday working as, as you very well, well that's know. what I did I mean mm -hmm. for years the world did not see my real hair probably five years of like mostly wigs and weaves sometimes mm -hmm. but mostly wigs so that I can protect my hair mm -hmm. and then my hair actually grew really strong and healthy and I'm gonna probably have to go back to wigs and weaves soon because I can't do this the upkeep is crazy it is crazy it's insane your hair is shorter now is it what is it I actually cut my I always do crazy things to my hair when I first got off of that so raven I said oh my goodness I'm free I don't have to wear any weaves for a while so I cut all my hair off I dyed it orange purple um, <laughs> every color try me and then I um, I had to do more work and I said, oh, back to Hollywood, let's put it black or blonde to look as... Like biracial. You gotta, you gotta make sure that you... What, um, <sighs> Paul Mooney said it in the show. <laughs> you gotta Comedian. not scare anybody. Not with, scare with anybody. Hair. So, but my hair is very curly. It's actually curlier than yours and I actually cut it short. So my friends call me like old school Justin Timberlake. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> But I always, I always keep a weaving when I'm on the show because it flows nice and just in case the wind blows, you want to whip it around and yes. say hello. <laughs> just showed it like I was laughing so hard when you pulled your weave oh, left no, and right like that I have I it don't like care. had a, its own mind always I don't care you, you have don't no care. weave shame do you I have no I will let somebody know and it's funny because I heard you talking about how you don't want your guys to know I invite them to see yes just so they know what's going not down oh really so that you, you know. let them see the weave going okay, in what I will pull it up see look don't think that this is mine because just in case something happens it's not gonna happen that way no, this is not mine. In case what? Ha I mean, like, you know, in case we get to know each other, you need to know that my hair is natural. This is just, you know, this is just for show. It's a hat that you put on I for I like to call it a hat. A, <laughs> a chateau? <laughs> I like chapeau. that better. Chapeau. I, chapeau. I, I, chapeau. I, like chapeau. I didn't go to a fancy school. Like <laughs> chateau means house. And I didn't go to school, Tara. <laughs> But that's another show. <laughs> I, hear the first, I hear the first time you had a relaxer, it was traumatic for you. Um, I w it was April 11th. Wow, how do you remember the day? Because I needed it. I needed it. It took me four hours to get my first one because she had to wash my hair and comb it out. And that took an hour and a half because, you know, naturally it hadn't been touched before. So it was very, very uh, uh, fingernail problems and everything. And then um, she relaxed it and, that, and I made sure I stayed on for as long as possible. For like two weeks be before straight. I did not scratch my scalp because I wanted it to be so fried, dyed and laid to the side. You have no idea. <laughs> I was not playing around. So she that washed day. your hair before a relaxer? Like I I don't wash my hair before I Well, get a I relaxer. hadn't washed my hair because I was afraid to go like this yes. and everything. So she had to brush it out and it oh, was just kind it of a just, soft just wash. Like a, yeah, nice, yeah, nice little light thing. What about hair 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 disasters when it comes to like you having to be on your show, that's so raven, anything? Well, when disasters? I'm on a show, I don't have it. There's not an issue because there's always someone watching out. Uh -huh. But I've had some red carpet disasters recently because I've been through going through my own personal problems. And um, Perez Hilton called me a poodle, and that was the day I wore my real hair. 
Oh, see, that's not cool. Well, then if you're a poodle, then I'm the poodle's oh. mama. Oh, Today. no, don't say ah. Oh. They so just don't understand. What's on his head? What the hell are you talking about? A, a hair bow right now. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that people aren't used to seeing me that way. Yeah. So that's kind of confusing. But the one time that I get a comment, that was like my natural hair. And then um, that's actually one of my natural hairs, too. That, that's me with like uh -huh. two tracks. So I, I, I switch it up. Okay. Well, what's up. going on today? Um, I have a full closure going on today. Okay. Because okay. my hair is really short and, I, and it won't cover the track because I, I like to keep it. So it's a weave nice. that's totally everything's uh, totally. Braided there's in. like baby hair out. Just a little. Just a little. Right. I don't have a problem. It'll come off, but not right now. Do you that's ever funny. have the issue? <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever have the issue because I, I even have this with like when the weave is, is like sewn in and I can ask everybody this like if your weave is sewn in a certain way and then the wind blows, uh -oh. you just kind of like, woo, don't blow that way. Let me, let me blow this way. Let me tell you how to fix that, Miss Tyler. Let me tell you how to fix it. Let me show you. You take underneath, you flip it up, yeah. you get the clip, you take a little of the track in the front, uh -huh. and you clip it like baby hair oh. so that it always stays down. So if you do have that, it's like little hairs and it's like fake little baby hair. Don't oh, play. it's a fake baby hair with the track going forward. I love that. Don't play me, oh my God. What, when you see like old episodes when you, were, when you were a little girl, like on the Cosby show, it was so adorable. Oh, that was Cosby mine. Show. That was mine. <laughs> Look how sweet. That is so sweet. What did you think of your hair when you were a little girl? Uh, I loved my hair because it was long and fluffy and beautiful. And as soon as I started to play with it, it, it went away and it never was the same. Mm -hmm. But uh, I do love my hair. I used to call it Mickey ears. My mom used to do big uh, braided crowns on the top of my head. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy with where it is now. Chris, what revelations did you, did you come across interviewing all these different women on this? On what this? did I come across? I realized women really want to be beautiful mm -hmm. <laughs> more than anything else they want to look good more than they want to feel good yeah it's true it's like if can i look like like uh what's the what's the girl posh spice if a woman Ooh, her hair i try to find a yeah, wig like that I, you know black what? women i found that wanted to look like posh spice that a woman, will, if you can make a woman look like Posh Spice, she'll put up with chemotherapy to look like Posh Spice. <laughs> like, I'll, hey, hey, this, this, yeah, they will. And I know you also found out that women will pay, like, yeah. for a leave before their rent. It's weird. Like, I knew, like, Beyonce would spend five grand to get ready for the Grammys. Mm -hmm. I didn't know Kiki was spending five grand <laughs> to go to AT&T. <laughs> that was... Crazy. Uh -huh. I'm up in Harlem at a at a beauty parlor, right? And women are paying five grand for weaves, and it's like the the, the spots right next to an abandoned crack house. <laughs> like they don't even have enough crackheads to keep the crack house going. <laughs> <laughs> but women still find, they got that money, boy. Well, they get, thank they you, get Raven, that money. so much for your honesty and thank for you. this. I love that. One of my favorite parts of the documentary. No worries, <laughs> We'll be right back. <laughs>